After having both hips replaced, Paula Spurlock expected to face months of rehabilitation to regain her strength and mobility, but she never expected this. I was just, it, I was going crazy with the, uh, with the itching. I just couldn't take it. My head itched. I mean, every single thing in me itched. Along with the itching came intense pain, but it wasn't until she got a PET scan for a lung problem that doctors learned something was wrong with Paula's new hip. Special testing showed she was allergic to it. So after months of misery and tens of thousands of dollars for surgery, Paula had to start all over again. Unfortunately, the only option right now is to replace it with something to which they're not allergic. But thanks to experts at National Jewish Health in Denver, there may soon be a simple way to tell if you're allergic to an implant before you get it. Karen Pacheco is an allergist who says a growing number of patients are not only allergic to the metals used in implants, but to the bone cement used in surgery. Right now, the best way to detect those allergies is to do a skin test before surgery, but those can take weeks to get results and you need a specialist to do them. So Dr. Pacheco and laboratory director Dr. Vijaya Knight developed a new option. It's a simple blood test that can detect allergies to nickel, a metal often used in implants and the most common contact allergen in the country. It's easier. You can send in the blood and it gets developed. You don't need to have somebody available who knows how to do the patch testing. By 2030, there could be more than 11,000 implants every day in the U.S., and some of those patients may be able to avoid painful allergic reactions after surgery thanks to a routine blood test before it. At National Jewish Health in Denver, this is Clark Powell reporting.